All right, let's talk about interlayer communication. We've talked about the TCP IP model, we've talked about the OSI model, how the layers are stacked on top of each other. So let's talk now about how communication happens when messages are being sent and received across a network. Um, so the questions I want you to be able to answer, and you should be able to answer after you finish this video, how do the layers communicate? How do these different layers, how does the transport layer communicate with the network layer, etc.? And how do they communicate across devices? So both within the stack and as things are being sent across the network, how does that communication happen? And reminder, we're talking the, the five layer, <clears throat> excuse me, the five layer TCP IP model with application transport, internet, data link, and physical. And what model you use doesn't really matter. The communication happens the same either way. So when you have the application layer, the transport layer, the internet layer, the data link layer, and the physical layer, when a message needs to be sent, we've got to have those envelopes and things are getting packed inside of each other as you send stuff across the network. And so we're going to walk through exactly what goes on. So we're going to have our happy little message come along and it wants to be sent across the network. It's I don't know, let's say it's a picture, or it's an HTTP GET request. Eth, each equally exciting things. And they want to be sent across the network. So the application puts together the request using the application layer protocol that needs to be used, and it's gonna go and send that down to the transport layer. And the transport layer has to put its own envelope on it. And so it's going to box up the, the data from the application layer, the application layer request, and it's gonna put it in its own envelope. It's gonna use those port addresses and specify where things need to go. And so we've got our, our packet all bunched up now. And then that's gonna go down to the internet layer and we're gonna add IP addresses and whatever information the, the um, internet layer protocol, the network layer protocol is adding is gonna get added on top of that. And so we've got the, the green packet, the transport layer packet that contains the application layer packet enveloped within each other. And then that goes down to the data link layer and the data link layer adds its own information about where things need to go. And then finally, that gets packed up down to the physical layer where the physical layer doesn't have its own addresses. All the physical layer does is poof, turns it into ones and zeros to send across the network. So those ones and zeros now are getting sent across the network to wherever that destination is, that destination IP address. And so after it gets turned into ones and zeros, it's gotta come across the network to the other side. And on the receiving end, all those ones and zeros get turned back into the packet to be sent back up the chain. And we do exactly that. So the data link layer gets those gets the data from the physical layer and unboxes it, pulls out, pulls off its own addressing information, the MAC address and all that stuff, and sends that up, sends what's left up to the internet layer where the internet layer takes off its addressing information, sends that up to the transport layer, and the transport layer send, pulls its information off and sends it on up to the application layer. And now our happy little packet can celebrate because it made it. It's all the way at the destination. Yay, packets. All right, so we've made it this far. Great, fantastic. This was a pretty simple example. We've got one computer sending directly to another computer, client, server, whatever. Um, the message is being sent across the network. So if you think about how this data is communicated communicated across the network, what you've really got is not, I mean, you've got communication down the stack, over, and back up the stack, and that, that is true. These, these layers communicate with each other, pass information to each other, etc. But across devices, what you've got is communication between layers at the same level. So you have the application layer, the blue packet on one side talking, is, is the same blue packet on the other side. The application layer is talking to the application layer on the receiving computer. The transport layer is talking to the transport layer. So the transport layer is seeing, the transport layer on the receiving computer is seeing exactly what was sent by the transport layer on the sending computer. Same for the internet and the data link layers. So across devices, you've got communication at the same layer where, where they're seeing each other and they're, they're talking to each other. And when messages go back the other way, the exact same thing happens just in reverse. So the, 
the messages get sent in the other direction. And if we want to, we can make this network a little bit more complicated. Instead of having just two devices on the network, let's say we have to send this message across the country and we've got to go through some routers. This is essentially direct communication. This is a model of how a local area network might work. The application layer goes down to the physical layer, bits and boops across the network, voltages, Wi-Fi, whatever, and then across the same network, you've got the physical layer going back up. But if you have a more complicated network where you have routers that are sending or, or, or forwarding and, and routing, routing essentially, um, the information across the network, here is how that might look. So routers don't involve the transport layer and the application layer because they are layer three devices. They're operating at the network or the internet layer. And we'll talk more about routers extensively later on. But as you go send things across the network in this, in this model, you've got the application layer, the transport layer, the internet. So the, think of a packet moving down, going across the physical layer to the next router along the network, along the path, going up to the internet layer to find the next hop along the path and then back down and then over and then up and then down and then over and then up and then down until finally after going through multiple routers it reaches the destination and and i just want you to be aware of this because it's not always going to be quite as simple as this a lot of times you're going to have a lot of other devices in between that are doing their thing and and managing things but i want you to be aware of this and, and kind of have this in mind as we move forward because when we get to routers and things think about what role they're playing on this network as they're, as they're passing things along. And that's essentially how these layers are used and how these layers communicate with each other. So before you go, check yourself, which layers does the transport layer communicate with directly? And which layers are involved in routing messages across a network? So think about and, and think back to the objectives of the video how does this work? How does this model work? Where's the communication between devices? Where's the communication within the stack on a, on a single device? And that is communication in layers.